What up? <clears throat> KRugSoberDogs.com. Yeah. Got to have a positive support network. It's essential to any good recovery program. You know, having a good support network, they're there for you if you get fired, your girlfriend, boyfriend breaks up with you, you know, whatever, bad drug craving. Life, life's not that easy. Tough times come up for everybody. But they're especially tough if you're an addict like me. You know, one relapse can lead me back out to years of misery, overdose, prison, whatever. So it's essential to have a good recovery network. That's, you know, the most important thing. Probably the most important thing in my mind to, you know, my recovery program. Why it's so important specifically, you know, when you surround yourself with a positive support group, they can pretty much help you get through any obstacles or any problems you may have. People there for you. I had to put my dog down last week. Anybody that follows me, you know my dog is my life. My dogs, excuse me. It was devastating. When I went outside after, literally minutes after putting her down at the vet, I went through my phone and I had dozens of numbers of people that were there for me. I had people offering to go with me before. I had people offering to come to my house after just to hang out, just to talk, whatever. That is the true, true benefit of a good positive support network, especially for us addicts and us people in recovery. You know, peer support can be defined as the process of giving and receiving non-professional, non-clinical assistance from individuals with similar conditions or circumstances to achieve, achieve long-term recovery from psychiatric, alcohol, and or other drug-related problems. That's the actual definition, and that says it perfect. Sometimes for me, you know, hearing something from a doctor is great, but hearing it from another person who's went through it, another addict, another alcoholic who's went through the struggles I went through, hits home a lot more, and I can relate a lot better. A lot of the benefits of having you know, a great, strong support network. You got someone to lean on in tough times. Um, you know, you have positive people to call or to text or to meet up with whenever you feel like getting high or have a drug craving. It makes you feel a lot less isolated and lonely. You got a group of people that won't judge you, you know, no matter what you're going through or your problems. You know, uh, you gain a sense of empowerment from having a good positive support network. It really is a great feeling knowing you got all these people you can call at any time. Uh, you learn new coping skills, talking to all these people. You know, you have others you can relate to, like I said earlier. Uh, you gain experience, strength, and hope from your support group. You learn to open up and how to express your feelings with other people, something that was very hard for me. You know, I don't like to admit this, but I was terrible at telling anybody anything that was going on in my life before recovery. Doesn't matter what it was, I kept it bottled up and didn't say anything. Uh, it helps reduce depression and anxiety by knowing you got people behind you, positive support. Helps you stay motivated to continue on your path to recovery. Uh, helps you become honest and get practical feedback about your struggles. And uh, also, one of the biggest benefits for me of having a good support network, I could be there if someone else is struggling to help them. And that really helps my recovery too, which is awesome. To build your support network, really all you got to do is have patience and step outside your comfort zone. Talk to people. It doesn't matter, you know, who. You might have a neighbor you know is in recovery. Open up to them a little bit. Go to meetings. Try 12-step. Talk to your church group if you have church. Out people at your rehab, outpatient. Um, friends and family. Somebody's in the program. Somebody might know somebody. One of the best ways, you know, especially people my age, younger, anybody, but reach out on social media. 
social media gets criticized in society for good reason. You know, a lot of people are addicted and stuff, but use it for good. You just type in sober or recovery on social media, so much stuff comes up. Type in sober dogs, you can find me on pretty much any social media. So these are great ways to build up your support and just put your pride and ego aside and ask for help. It was very hard for me, but once I did it, it opened up a whole new world. That's the best way. Somebody told me, a gentleman that is in recovery, he said, you got to build up your army of support. And then he said, you got to build up your defenses against your next drink or your next drug. That made so much sense to me. The more people I talk to, the more people in my recovery network, um, the better I am equipped to fight off that craving, that next relapse or whatever it may be. Hopefully this info helped you guys. Guys and gals, anybody watching, I appreciate everyone's support. Please share any content of mine. I would really appreciate it. You know, subscribe to the channel, like the videos. And if you want to read the full article on why support is so important, a good support network is so important in recovery, uh, just go to SoberDogs.com. It's the uh, first article right there. I appreciate it, everyone. Stay sober. See ya.